What? How's it going folks and welcome back to TRF. I am excited about today's episode because we are going back on the kayaks. We're gonna go to a place that we can catch a whole bunch of fish all uncut for you guys to give you the most excitement possible, the most fish catches possible, and of course teach you guys how to become better bass anglers. Today we're at an amazing private water fishing location here in Texas that I'll tell you guys more about when we launch the kayaks, but I say we get our yaks in the water. It is a beautiful summer morning and I'm excited. Hopefully y'all are, stay tuned. There we go, I need to move this forward. Just launched the uh, new native, I believe this is the Slayer 10 Max, their new 10 foot size. I like a smaller kayak just for the sake of fishability. And we are off for another episode of Uncut. Y'all seem to like the last episode of, of Kayak Uncut. And if you can't tell by the series and the length of this video, it's basically just fishing totally uncut. First cast. First stinking cast. First cast. It's not always going to be like that. I can't believe it. I mean, it was a juicy point, but it wasn't like that juicy. <laughs> First cast. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Not a giant. Oh, also one that's going to get trouble hook in my hand. Ha ha ha. Got him right there on the new Mock Baits Patroller. He wasn't even hooked by much. Beautiful first fish of the day, a little bit skinny. But as you can tell, there's a there's a few fish in this place. And I don't like to go to places like this all that often because it kind of gets you spoiled. And also I don't want to be giving fishing instruction on how to like work certain lures at a place where it's it's like fishing in a barrel. Holy cow, that's two casts in a row. Wow. I must have found a really good point here because this is crazy. Oh, they are definitely post-spawn though. Definitely post-spawn. This one's bigger. This one's definitely bigger. Ooh. Oh gosh. Oh, got him. Beautiful. I love the look of these East Texas fish though. The, uh, the property I'm at today is Twin Lakes in Ben Wheeler, Texas. I will leave all the information down below for you guys to check out. Twin Lakes and Ben Wheeler. It's part of an organization called Private Water Fishing. And if you are unfamiliar with PWF, basically what they do is give you the opportunity to fish on bodies of water like this. Like this is some rancher who's got cows and a bunch of puppies. It's his property and, and he wants to make some money on the side to let folks fish it. So you got a membership and you pay a lake day rate and it's much better priced than most lake memberships out there. And you get to fish awesome places just like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're eating the patroller, holy cow. I see, I like that, but also kind of scares me because I don't have a net today. And so I just have to belly all of my fish. Now the property is Twin Lakes because there's two of them and they're basically twins. One east and one west. And uh, the fish size I've heard in west, which is the one we're in right now, is significantly smaller. I also need my pliers out because these treble hook fish seem to like to, ouch, ow, ow, get a hook in your hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Most of the time I found that people uh, that get hooked with a treble hook are just not prepared. They just didn't bring uh, pliers. And if they did, they didn't get their pliers out. So we're gonna not make that mistake. And we're gonna get our pliers. Boom, stick those under here under the seat and let's keep going that's like three fish and four or five casts there's gonna be one right here also i have a feeling just a beautiful morning just a beautiful morning holy cow this is i mean like i i have not fished a place like this this is this is crazy how many fish are in this place and i have a feeling we'll stumble upon a bigger one Eventually, stop it, stop it, good. Yeah, we're gonna have to get uh, pliers out every once in a while. Hope y'all are enjoying this. If you're new to the channel, welcome. This is definition of fish in a barrel right here. And not even every private water fishing 
property is like this. I mean, like, this is a lot of fish already. So I have a feeling this is gonna be a lot of fish caught. If you just wanna have a good, relaxing morning, drinking some coffee, watching the old, the old YouTuber Tyler catch some fish, this is gonna be the video for you, I think. I'm excited. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pumped. How do I go backwards in this kayak? Is this the right way? This is the right way. Right? No? Here we go. Okay. I'm learning. Um, oh my gosh. I just had a fish hit my bait as I'm sitting here. Boom. And as always with all my videos, I will leave the tackle I'm using in the video description. Rod, reel, bait. This here is kind of like my all-purpose topwater rod for kayaks and ponds. It's a loose TP1 speed stick, 7.4 heavy. Got a little bit, a little bit soft of a tip, but still pretty much a broomstick because that's what I want for top water. And when you're working any sort of treble hook top water, I'm not gonna be setting the hook ultra hard like I do with a frog. So you can get away with using, you know, a super heavy rod on a treble hook top water. Oop, that was not good. Gotta open the button. Um, you can get away with using a super heavy rod with a treble hook as long as you just lean into them and don't set the hook hard. They seem to be out on the main body here. I've gotten like five casts without catching one. How dare, how dare they? How dare they? And there, there might be a few cuts in here, depending on uh, if I get a fish, you know, gut hooked, and I don't want to have two minutes of unhooking a fish. Hope the lighting's not too bad. I think it's a little bit, I'm a little bit shaded right now because the sun's behind me. Not really like the ideal conditions for a plopping style topwater. Like I would probably throw this patroller on more of a cloudy, slightly windy overcast day. But you know what? We're at a place today where I can basically catch them on whatever I want. And, and we, do, we do have one condition which is right for this, which is aquatic vegetation, kind of in like a flat underneath me. I don't have a fish finder on this kayak yet, but I'm pretty sure that the majority of this pond is covered on the bottom at least until the point it drops off in aquatic vegetation. And you're not really gonna catch many open water fish on those flats, on like a frog or like a popper. You can, it's just, it's not as efficient, it's a lot slower. I prefer to throw a plopper or a walking bait when it comes to those open flats. And that's kind of what we got here. Especially when fish aren't really relating to any part of it, they're just kind of all around it. In my opinion, it's best to cover water then. Bzzz. Y'all are probably going to see me stand up a decent amount, I guess. I don't really like sitting down in a kayak, but this is pretty comfortable. This native is not bad to sit down in. I feel pretty high. Ooh, hey, missed him. He spun my top water around. And he is no longer there. Y'all are also gonna see a few cuts when I stop and start the clips, which I'm gonna do right now. Like I said, we're starting off today in West Lake of these two lakes here. By the way, I'll leave all this stuff linked in the video description. The property details, how to join PWF. Like I said, if you're in Texas, Oklahoma, this is the membership for you. If you want, I mean, like you can tell, some properties are like this, where if you wanna take your grandson out fishing and just have a pretty much guaranteed chance that he'll have a good time. This is the place for you. But we're gonna start in Westlake. I'm probably gonna fish it pretty quick, especially if the size doesn't improve. And then we'll go spend at least an hour or two of this uncut in East Lake, which is deeper. A guy caught a 10 pounder out there a few weeks ago. So it's probably what I'm gonna do.
I'm not used to having to control my direction with my hand. It's mentally hard because I'm used to a bass boat. Mentally hard to have to put my rod down for a second to adjust the direction. Okay, and I'm noticing that, that I caught all of my fish back there. And I'm going down this main bank here that looks good to me. And I ain't catching squat. I'm not even getting a bite. So if I get all the way down to the end here and I'm still not catching squat, then I think we will have found ourselves a honey hole to which I'm gonna go back to and throw a crankbait or a, a worm of some kind. Maybe even a, maybe even a swim jig. Got a little bit of outcast tackle pro swim jig on the, on the boat kayak today. Ah. Bad, bad directional cast. The lake today has this kind of grass. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I should know, I've got a I've got an aquatic vegetation book. I also like throwing these types of top waters early in the morning just because fish are not necessarily under as much cover at this point in the day. And I guess if you're into feet, if you got a thing for feet, you're probably gonna love this video. I'm putting my feet out there for free. Starting next week, I'm gonna have to charge for that. Figure it out later. About right now. That should be a fish. A piece of wood sticking in the water. I have not kayak fished in a long time. I mean like six months, maybe more. It hasn't been since the last time I filmed it uncut. Which by the way, if you're liking this video and you want another fun, relaxing kayak uncut, I've got like a two and a half hour long one on a different PWF property from last spring that I think will, uh, that'll, what's the word I'm looking for? Tickle your fancy? There we go. I'll leave that one linked in the video description. Okay, what the heck? There's no way the fish just turned off. I don't think there's any here in this location. Seems like this kayak also turns better when you pedal hard. It's not into no weak, weak body peddlers. So no, no beta boys over here, just alphas can drive this kayak. Well, while top water's so good, I'm gonna head back to that spot because that'd be dumb of me not to. There was a gajillion fish there. I should have a power pole micro anchor on here, but I lost the bracket for it. So I had a kayak fly out on the highway. By the way, this is actually my second native. My first one last year flew out on the highway. Somewhere on I-35 in between Waco and Dallas, my kayak is was stolen. Stolen off the highway. I don't blame them though. How can you turn down a free kayak sitting there? All right, we do have some wind. So I apologize if the wind noise is not helpful. I'm guessing what we have here is a, a flat of grass that comes out here that I can't quite see. And there's a school of fish sitting around this flat. But I mean, I was catching them out in the open like it was fish in a barrel. But as y'all can tell from the last few minutes, not necessarily the case. There's not fish everywhere that are dumb and ready to be caught. It was just right here. I'm not catching any fish. So it's totally possible the topwater bite has just kind of died now that the sun has popped out of the trees. Ran through this school. Uh oh, we already got water spots on this lens. Nice. Oh! I also haven't been recording that audio, so I apologize for the change in audio there. That camera has not been rolling. Oops. I will do better. I'll be a better tuber from here on out. Okay, we got some wind now. 
It was dead calm when we got here. Now it's kind of windy. Which I'm not against. I don't mind a little bit of wind. Stir up the water. We definitely, though, just had an active school of fish because I'm not catching jack squat. I made a bad cast and got hooked on a stick. Hooked on a stick. I got hooked on a stick. Everybody get hooked on a stick. Yeah, watch yourself so you don't get hooked on the stick. There we go. Reverse, reverse. Oh. Oh my gosh, there we go. I was also hooked on another stick. As evidenced by the stick on my hook. I'm gonna get a lot of water spots on that lens today. Kayak fishing does that. Put the patroller down for a second. Pick up a little square bill. I'm testing out a bunch of the new mock baits today. This is the bouncer. Bouncer square bill. I'll tell you what, this Mach 1 casts really well. Like, I've been shocked for the price tag on this thing. Banger. It's a banger and it's banging. And it might be a little too weedy here to throw a square bill, but we'll see. I will have live scope on my kayak come the fall. As a matter of fact, I bought it a while ago. I've got live scope in a unit sitting in my living room waiting to be installed on my kayak. I just got to get all the right equipment, all the right mounts, because you can't just slap an electronic on a kayak. It's not that simple. Got a pro guide lithium for my live scope on a kayak. I'm, I'm pumped. We're about to do some scoping this coming winter in some ponds. We'll sling around an A-Rig on a, some PWF properties and hopefully catch some 10s. That'd be nice. Break some lake records. But I'm going to switch this uh, square bill out. I don't think this is going to be the best decision for today. So let's get ourselves our tackle box. Where's it at? There it is. How do you fit this out? What the heck? Oh, my seat wasn't that far forward when I put the put the tackle box in. Oops. I gotta fix that. I'll find a way to not have that happen. There we go. Okay. What do I want? What do I want? I'm gonna take that off for sure. I found these Bass Pro Shops split ring pliers that are pretty good because the little pliers, the little split ring pliers, and they can snip your line as well. And usually that only lasts so long, the snippers on these things, but however long it'll last, we shall see. Got that. And on this rod, I'm gonna put Probably a vibrating jig. I like this color here. Actually, I kind of like Bruiser better, but I don't like this. The size is not too heavy. This one it is. Mm -hmm. 
If y'all are new to the channel, welcome. Hope you're having a fantastic time. My goal is to teach you guys how to catch more fish. And I love the fact that I get to do it for a living. It's not a side job, it's a full-time job. And there aren't many days when I hate it. There are days just like every job where I get tired, don't feel like getting up. But then I remember, Tyler, gosh darn it, you fish for a living. Go do your dang job. And I do, so I'm grateful. Incredibly, incredibly grateful this is my job. That's the wrong one, there we go. All right, vibrating jig. I feel like I'm getting a wedgie. Seven fifty-two a.m. Dang it! This thing likes to slide, don't it? Here we go. I'll tell you what though, I think kayak guys use shorter butts to their rods. And I see now why, because you don't have that much room to stick the rod behind you. You got a seat behind you. Bass boat guys were spoiled. We can throw a big old long rod. go ahead and replace this rod with this one since I'm not using that one yet and this one I'm gonna be using here in a second <laughs> what a beginning to this video man hope that helps the watch time It should. And hey, if y'all are uh, new to the YouTubing, hitting that like button and commenting helps my channel in the algorithm. So I'm not gonna beg you to do it. I'm not gonna tell you to smash any buttons, but if you can, it's free, it's available. Especially if you're watching Uncut, you got no, nothing but time, you got hours to click those buttons. That would mean a lot to me. And again, it costs you nothing, totally free. The government's not gonna spy on you and know that you'll press the like button, I think. I don't know. Actually, they probably do know that. They know everything about you. But all I know is that it's gonna help. And for that, I'd be grateful. It's almost like it's like a feeding window, and then the feeding window shut off. I wonder when, I'm gonna check bass forecast. I wonder, oh gosh, no I'm not, no I'm not, no I'm not, I'm gonna catch a fish. Ta -ha -ha -ha. That guy ate it as I was getting my phone out. Hey, 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 gotcha. Little guy right there. These are all the same sort of, oh, popped right out. East Texas skinny pond fish but I bet you there's a few big ones in here somewhere. I do though still want to check bass forecast just to see what it says in terms of the rating for today and the feeding time. But hey, my vibrating jig sitting on the bottom getting a bite makes me think they're gonna bite a worm in a jig. Rating today is a 6.4. Major time, okay, no, we're just, we're just entering the major time. So, bite should get good here in a second. Especially with cloud cover, I expect to keep catching them. 
don't know about you guys, but that's what I expect. Got him, got him, there we go. My second one on this point, and he's not a big one. So I'm gonna get away from this point because I don't wanna keep catching little things. See ya, buddy, thank you. That one happened as I was just like letting the rod sit there. I kinda felt that, I felt a bite, and it wasn't like I knew it was a bite, I just had a feeling, kinda that bass fishing intuition you get if you fish long enough you could tell something was different so i reeled up and he was swimming the other way there's definitely a gaggle of fish here though <laughs> you're gonna see me checking this camera a lot just because it's not a flat surface like the camera in front of me that's a gopro 10 that you guys are seeing me out of right now this is a gopro 4 on my chest I should have two 10s. I'm going to get another 10. Because this one has a lens, like a, a, a fisheye lens on it that is a lot harder to tell if there's water on it. The wind has also shifted directions. Very odd. There's one. Yes, sir. Oh, that one is a bit nicer. That one's a bit nicer. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> they're just, they're long and skinny right now. Ah! Ah! Hey! Beautiful. And that one, that one ate the uh, thunder cricket pretty good. Got that one down the gullet. Somebody keep track of how many fish I catch today. I know you guys saw me last year. I was doing a try to catch 1,000 bass in a year challenge. I didn't get there. Got the 936, I believe. But I also didn't fish many places like this. Fishing places like this all the time would really pump your numbers up. <sighs> Gotta get the hook out. This guy ate it too good. Why'd you do that? There we go. Beauty. See ya. Now that I've seen a few fish bite and how they're eating it, it doesn't seem like they're really chasing today. So I'm not actually burning my thunder cricket back to me. I'm doing kind of a yo-yo. So I'm, I'm using my reel just to pull it off the bottom and brrr, and then let it drop back down. Brrr, let it drop back down. So it seems like every fish I've caught so far has been when I drop it back down. Yep, there's one. Come on. Come on. Come on. How big are you? Oh, you're fighting harder. Ooh. I lost him. Stinking lost him. There's a cow making noise over there. Ooh. The tangle begins. All right, sweet. That was not the best hook set. I was not prepared for that. Hmm. Thank you, Lord, for another day. Another beautiful Texas day. Grateful for a lot of things. Grateful to live in such a great country. Grateful for an amazing family and my wife's family. Grateful for my wife. Grateful for uh, health. That I know health could go away at any point. You know, and to be healthy it means a lot I try not to take that for granted thankful for you know a God who loves us so much he wants to have a relationship with us that he sent his son I mean I'm more grateful for that than any other <laughs> thing gosh take the health in a second give me eternity we're gonna work our way to the dam I also think even though I'm catching them on a moving bait, I think I'm going to put a, a big worm on, I think, for, the, for the, the, uh, the, the dam. Because once we move to 
the second lake, which I have a feeling we're gonna do, we'll probably just lightly throw the kayaks on the trailer and strap them down. Um, I think the other lake's a big worm type of lake. Gosh, that's a bigger fish. That's a bigger fish. It'll fall. Mm, chill, 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 chill. You're bigger. You're the biggest one of the day. I would like a net. Oh, jeez. I would like a net, please, for you. Okay, now that I know there's, there's good fish in here, I'm totally going to bring up a big worm. Hey, chill, 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 chill. Oh, hey, ow, no! That got the lens wet. Gosh, I can't grab him. Here we go. That right there, boys and girls at home. Beautiful fish. Probably three, three and a half pounds on the Thunder Cricket. That one hit it on the fall. So yeah, these fish are not chasing today. They're just eating, eating as it goes. Which definitely makes me want to throw a big worm to catch a big. Oh yeah, that was a bad cast. And now I'm totally wet. Let's just make sure my camera is good to go. No water on any microphones. We look good. We look good. My buddy Jonathan is out here with us today. He was also the guest in the last kayak uncut on a PWF lake. So he's, he has not moved from his location in a while, which means he's probably catching a few as well. Gosh, I wouldn't like to kayak fish in the winter and get splashed. Giant tail slap right at the boat. But I mean, I probably will next year because I'm gonna be doing a lot more kayak angling in the winter. Now that I've got live scope coming on the yak. I'm gonna be jerk baiting, Alabama rigging. Oh man, I'm pumped. Hope y'all are enjoying this video. It's definitely a good, a good rest from just the grind of making instructional videos. And what time is it? I need to make sure my wife's doing okay. She got up, got to work. Ah, she's probably in class right now. I'll text her. Good morning, sweetie, exclamation point. Love you so much. Praying for your day. And then heart emoji. Great. Gotta make the wife happy. Happy wife, happy life. And a little update. I seem to give you guys life updates and all the uncuts. Hannah is coming to work for me. She will be done with her job in eight business days, eight school days, and she's done. She is retiring from one year in the school and she'll be coming to work for me, so we're pumped. You'll probably see a increase in the, in the design of the thumbnails and some on-screen graphics. She'll be handling a ton of my uh, messages and emails and contracts, just kind of keeping me more organized because the past year and a half of doing lots of house duties has taken away from the videos that I can make. So she will finally get time to be a wife, which she wants to do. And we're blessed enough that we can afford that. And I can keep making videos for you guys. So that's pretty fun. I do not mind that. And I doubt you guys mind it either. Oof, we just got a little bit shallow here. Ah! Scrape. Hope this angle's good, I have no idea. This angle's probably getting a lot of my crotch. That's why I wore pants.
Okay, time to rig up old big worm. Probably gonna put the vibrating jig down as well. For now. We got ourselves a new mock, mock smash with some 20 pound line. Should be a good time. Get myself a bag of worms. Or that. There they are. Big old Strike King Rage Tail Cutter Worm. Full size. Full size. No fun size. Full size. My tackle box really likes to slide around too. You know what? I think I can keep my seat forward and grab the tackle box from the back. Can I? No. no. Dang it, I gotta figure out a way to store tackle in this kayak. Because being 10 foot, this kayak has some limitations in terms of tackle storage. <laughs> okay, got this. Big old weight. And I, I am gonna bobber stop my weight today. I know I just made a video talking about the fact that I don't most times, and that's that's true. But if I'm gonna be flipping around trees, I want it to be one package. And I'm not going for little little rinky dinks here. A big one that bites this thing is not gonna have a problem with the, the weight being a battering ram. Maybe small ones would, but again, I ain't after those. After all, bigs today. I got that song stuck in my head. Turn around, every now and then again. I don't even know what the song is. All I know is turn around. Tying a Palomar knot, as I do for everything. Don't tie a snell. I don't tie fisherman's knot. Tie a Palomar. Why? Because it works. And if it ain't broke. Don't fix it, is what I always say. It's what Mama told me. I'm just kidding, Mama never told me that, but I wish she had. Because I had to learn it from Bobby Boucher or something. I don't know who I learned that from. That probably wasn't Bobby Boucher. Yum. Big old June bug worm. Yes, please. That's what I'm talking about. Free money. Free money. Brand new reel, though. Probably shouldn't cast it without adjusting the settings and such. Okay. Beautiful. Ooh, I got grass on the prop. Dang. I got a lot of grass on the prop. Gotta stand up here, adjust my pants while I do that. Gotta pedal real hard. There we go. Now the grass is off. Taking my sunglasses off. Also gonna grab a swig of water out of my Yeti. Not sponsored, but this thing's dope. Thank you to Major League Fishing for hooking me up with this. That was one of the gifts for being a, a media personnel at Red Crest. Also got a pair of Costas. Got a uh, Bass Pro Shops gift card. 
So thanks to MLF for looking out for media. So I put on the big worm in hopes that there'd be a drop off here. I don't think there really is a drop off. Like this is the this is the this is the dam, but I don't believe it's really any different. In terms of depth, depth wise. But if I go all along the dam here and don't get a bite, your boy's going back to the vibrating jig in the top water. It is nice and calm out here though, I like it. I like the, if it was calm and sunny, I wouldn't like it. But it's calm and cloudy, so we'll take it. Once I get live scope on here and I get my accessories and everything, I'll do a full kayak walkthrough of this thing because this is most likely the kayak that I'm going to be using for all my adventures in the next few years. I still have the Bonafide and I think I'll still keep that one um, because when I take Hannah kayak fishing she likes to be in one that's a pedal not a paddle. And I don't blame her so we will give her the native that I'm in right now and I'll take the Bonafide. My seat's gone back again, I think. And speaking of uncuts, if y'all want to see my my favorite uncut I've ever done where I caught a 10-pounder in it, I'll leave that one linked in the video description as well. Caught the second 10-pounder of my life on a crankbait in three feet of water. Nuts. Absolutely nuts, though. Did not expect that. And got it all uncut. Caught a seven and a half pounder, two six pounders. I mean, it was nuts. Crazy, crazy day. All on camera, baby. For you guys. I think there's two turtles up here sharing a very loving moment yeah that's those are two turtles loving it right there if you know what i mean oh oh i got a bite on the big one not a fish though just a bite Make a cast even deeper. I have not made a cast out in the middle. I want to see how deep it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's only like six feet deep out there. It's odd. I wonder where the deepest part is then. If it's not the dam. Mm hmm. I was, I was fully expecting to come here and throw a swim jig, but got here and the bank was a little bit too shallow. Like if we had, if we had more grass edges, if we had kind of some hay grass stuff in the water, I would have thrown a swim jig more. And I still got it rigged up, I still might throw it. Especially with how calm it is now. Actually, you know what? I might throw a swim jig. Show you guys the advantages of a swim jig and how silent it is. Works really well for me on calm days when they've stopped biting a vibrating jig and a, and a spinnerbait, which again, in a pond like this, they might not. Or a lake, I should say, this is not a pond. In a lake like this, they might not stop biting it because they're not very pressured. Last cast with the worm for now.
while that worm is soaking, I'm going to grab a rage crawl for my swim jig. Every swim jig needs a trailer. My problem though with the swim jig is that I've got it on the hyperspeed or the what reel is this? Yeah, the, the hyperspeed. And I don't know if I quite need one that fast, so may have to reel really slow. I think I'm probably going to have to employ the same yo-yoing type approach as the vibrating J had. This is just more natural and subtle. Because as much as I want this big worm to work, don't think this is going to be the way to get content at least. I can probably fish really slow for a while and, and hope to hope to catch a big one, but I think we'll save that for the pond that's been kicking out big ones. This pond is not known for that in the past year or two. Like the lake record in here is a 13, but I don't think it's with the seeing the fish quality, I wouldn't guess that's nowadays. Also, I need this to be higher up the rod. Gotta hook it on the reel. Okay. Swim jig time. This here is the Outcast Tackle. I believe it's the Pro model. It could be the original. Beautiful swim jig right here. Rage crawl on the back, horizontal. I either rig it horizontal or vertical, depending on how shallow I want to keep it. And since I'm fishing it pretty shallow to start, I'm going to put it on there horizontal. So calm. It's like deadly calm. Ooh, a little bit loose there. A lot loose. Oh, my brakes are totally off. That's why makes sense. Well, they don't want the swim jig right now. Let's go back to the patroller. There we go, yep. There we go, top water. I guess they do want something a little bit louder, even though it's dead calm. <laughs> The silentness is not really getting them going today. It is the loud, the loud top water. Hey buddy, chill. Oh wow, okay, cool. I'll count that as a caught fish. He shook himself off for me right here. How about that? That's nice. Now, I would not have caught, counted that as a caught fish if he was six pounds, but for a two pounder I will. Oh, oh gosh. That's a big one. And because it's a big one, I'm gonna throw my jig right there. As a follow-up, no? Okay, that's cool. You ain't gotta eat it. thing is like those fish can't go far. I always wonder that. When you get a bite on our top water and you throw back there and they don't bite it, like where'd they go? Whoa. There we go. Oh 
oh, that was, a, that was a point here. I mean, I could tell it's a point, but it was a, extended off into the water. If it was sunny and I was wearing my sunglasses, I could see what's underwater, but not too sunny yet. Hey, there's one. There's one. Are you big? Are you big? You don't seem that small. Oh yeah, top water's the way to go today. These fish are, these fish are hungry and shallow. Oh my gosh, that is the biggest one of the day. He just didn't even. He didn't fight that hard. Um. Oh crap. No. Oh, God. Gosh dang it. How do I get him? How do I get him? Ooh. There we go. Belly that stinking guy. Okay, let's not get ourselves hooked here. Chill, chill, got him. Great, one hook. Two hooks, hey, hey, beautiful. That fish has got a four and a half pound head and a three pound body. He'd go three pounds. Sick. Okay, we're biting the top water. That we know. Which makes me not really want to throw much else. Because that's stinking fun. But we also don't have a whole lot of, you know, room to throw this. Because Jonathan's got that end of the pond. And our bank's about to run out here. But I will catch one on this cast here, I think. Just looking at the depth zone that I just cast over. Maybe. Maybe not. All right, guess not. I tell you guys what, kayak fishing gives me a wedgie. I don't like it. Wonder what kind of underwear out there, wedgie-less. Because these Polo Ralph Lauren boxers are not wedgie-less. I think the patroller has a, as you can tell, I mean, it looks just like a plopper. You call it a knockoff, whatever you want to call it. But I think it's got a slightly higher pitch than a plopper does, even, even than a chopo does. So whatever that means, it's a different sound. All right, well, we got a few fish catches back there on the top water. I'm gonna go back through with the swim jig and see if we can catch some of those fish that I might've missed. Cause that worked with the vibrating jig on the other side, went back through areas that I'd caught them.
haircut's so bad. My hair it feels like a mop. I'm just glad it's not hot yet. If it was hot, I'd be sweating already. Whatever reason they're not eating the swim jig. So, if they're not doing it, I'm not gonna force it. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the vibrating jig. Man, it's peaceful out here. Oops. Sometimes your trailer gets stuck on the hook. There we go. Okay, well we're gonna keep this out, but I think we're gonna go back to top water for a bit. That's what's catching us our fish, so. Why change what's working? Oh, it looks like we've been sheltered from the wind. It looks like it's windy over on that bank over there, which is interesting. Well, we'll work this top water down the bank here. We'll meet up with Jonathan, discuss the plan. I'm guessing he's probably caught quite a few as well. And we will, uh, probably head to the other pond. The other lake, sorry. I keep saying pond. I guess I have fished some ponds that I would call ponds that are this size, but this is like 13 acres, so not really a pond. There's one. Little guy. <laughs> See, didn't even have to set the hook there because it's a treble hooked bait and this guy ate it right at the boat. And so I knew with braided line and a heavy rod, I'd hook this guy. Ha ha, that's the first like chunky one I've caught. Still not big, but at least a little bit healthier of a fish. They've all got um, some kind of, I don't know if it's a sore or a leech. No, it's a bug. They've got water bugs on them. I don't know why. It's probably not good, probably a parasite, but every bass I've caught has had those on it. Anybody, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find that, and put it on the screen, what that bug is. And I wonder if that's bad or good for fisheries. <laughs> I bet you I'd catch more on a uh, on a popper, but I wouldn't cover water nearly as fast.
The sun's popping up. It's almost sunglasses time, folks. What's interesting is I really haven't seen that much like bait. Haven't seen that many bluegills or bait fish. They gotta be in here. Just not quite sure what these fish eat. As the sun pops up, the top water bite probably dies a little bit out here. Also time to put my sunglasses on. Got to get them clean first. As clean as I can without a lens wipe. It's humid. Very humid outside, that's for sure. Come on, catch one right here so it pulls me that way. You can immediately tell when you have grass on a plopper style lure because it does not plop very well. And I've got water on my lenses still. There we go. Mm, that sounds so good. I want that sound to be interrupted by a fish. Okay, well that's that's down the entire bank there without getting a bite on top water. So we're going to put this down. Pick back up the vibrator. Not the vibrator. Oops. Vibrating jig. There's one. There's one on oh, the vibrating jig. And it's a nice one, it's a nice one. Okay, so they, they want something moving today, for whatever reason. Maybe it's the, the low light conditions. They can't really find it as well. This water, this water is also clear, but not too clear. It's like a, it's like a tea color. Eh, open your mouth. Thank you, gee. Hard for that fish to open his mouth. Beautiful. And that guy is not even hooked in the mouth. He swiped at it and I got him outside the mouth and then back in. Huh, I'm kind of having trouble deciphering what these fish want to do today. Because they, that fish I'm pretty sure as well hit it on the fall. Which makes me wonder why is the swim jig, which is more finesse, not catching them. I, I just don't, don't quite get it. Don't quite get why a vibrating and then a fall is catching them, but a fall won't.
Oh gosh, there's one. Jeez, nice one. Again, hit it on the fall. So interesting. So interesting. Ah, dang it. That's what happens though when they hit it on the falls. Oftentimes you don't get a good hook into them. And I was not prepared for that fish. Hmm. Dang it. stand up so bad but standing up wouldn't look good on camera might as well learn how to fish sitting down for you guys hmm belly's grumbling I'm hungry gosh there was one as I paused it Sling around the top water for a second. And I'm gonna stand up. So chest mount engaged. And now that I've stood up, man, I can see that it's way shallower here than I thought it was. Standing up gave me a way different vantage point. It's like only two foot up here. Maybe not even that. Yeah, two, two to three foot. I need to be focusing my efforts not up here, but rather back there. Worth a few casts, long casts over certain areas, but don't think the majority of the fish right now are in two foot of water. I think they're coming out from a little deeper to hit the top water. Oh yeah, big one. Is that your first one? No, no, no. First not big. Oh, got it. Hi buddy, Jonathan just caught one and I was thinking like, is that really his first one? He said it's his first decent sized fish. <laughs> And if he's catching all dinks as well, I think it's time we head to uh, lake number two, East Lake. Because West Lake ain't doing squat in terms of big fish. If you want to take your nephew out and just catch fish, West Lake's the one for you. But I ain't after just fish. I want bigs. I want to catch big old bigs. <laughs> now, if I hadn't caught a fish yet, I would have taken any fish, but I've been catching them, so we're good. Is that a fish? Yeah. If that is, it's big. If that is, it's big. Yes, it is. Let's go. Let's go. Hit it on the fall. Hit it on the fall. Oh, you know what? It's not huge, but not the smallest either. Skinny, man. So skinny. Bring it in. Bring it in here. When he jumped, he looked so big, but he's just skinny as all, as all get out. Gosh, man. Get 
Got the vibrating jig down his throat though. Here we go, got it. Mr. Old Skinny Fish. And it's not necessarily like these fish are skinny because they're post-spawn summer fish. Usually skinny fish are a sign of a non-healthy fishery. So I gotta tell the uh, owner of this place here in PWF that they probably need a little bit of management. Probably need some fish taken out because I'm guessing there's too many fish in this body of water which is causing them to have to fight over resources, which they just don't have enough of. So fish get skinny when that happens. And I don't really have any science to back that. That's just my understanding of how lakes and ponds work. A good, healthy lake will have chunky, chunky bass. Now these are also, I think, pure Florida strain. And pure Florida strain bass definitely have that skinnier look to them, big head, skinny bodies. But you can have pure Floridas that are giant, as evidenced by the Sherlonker program. Because my fish was 68% pure Florida, and some of the other Sherlonkers, from like, like the one from Lake Austin was 100% Florida, so it's possible to have giant, thick Floridas. But not in a pond that needs to be managed. How many you caught? How many have you caught? Ooh, what the heck is that? I say we fish here for a few more minutes and then head to the other lake. I'm just not impressed with the size here. I got all stump. I got a gosh dang stump. There we go. Check my line. Uh, we're good. Just a little bit broken there, crimped. After catching a bunch of fish, my hands kind of itch for some reason. Like I'm an addict or something. I think I'm. I think I, I think I'm allergic to like bass um, juices of some kind. Because like when I fish and then touch my eyes, my eyes will itch, and I'm not sure why. Uh oh, J Mart's got a good one. Nice job. You found a honey hole. Gosh, there's a fish. Oh, wait. Uh, it's uh, probably the fish that I hooked. He looks like he's dying. Yeah, that's what that is. A fish busted twice over there, but I'm pretty sure it's my deep hooked vibrating jig fish. It's uh, currently on its last limb. Should I say it's the last fin? Not all gut hooked fish survive, even if the hook trick is done right. It's just part of the game. And I mean, this, this pond needs a few taken out. There's too many bass in here. Grass on there. Get off of there. Get off of there. Mm -hmm. Plenty of moo cows around here. Y'all ever call them that as a kid? A moo, a moo cow? I always did. Stand up. Top water is not working much here anymore. Despite it being a nice flat of grass, I think either he already combed over this area or the fish are just pretty much done biting the top water. I'm gonna spin ourselves around, make a few more minutes casts of uh, a vibrating jig and then probably ski daddle. So if we don't catch any more fish in the next minute or two, 
we'll see you guys at the other lake. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice one. I think we're doubled up right now. Yes, sir. Double up. This one looks mean. Mine's a little bigger. It's got a black face. Ooh. Ha <laughs> ha. Beautiful. Do all of yours have spots on them? You mean like bugs? You mean bugs? Oh, maybe. Those are bugs. Oh. Right. Some kind of ooh, some kind of parasite. Well, we've got out into the middle of the channel here where it looks to be about two feet, three feet down to the grass, and then the grass goes down to the bottom after that. That's where we're catching them. They slid off the bank, and they've slid out there. My gosh. Gosh, that guy ran so, oh, ran so fast. Gee. Oh. Couldn't even catch up with that guy. But we found them. They're out here. Out here in the middle. It's the middle of the pond. Got him hooked deep. Yeah. These are uh, these are pure Florida strain in here which explains the big head and skinny body. Unless they're fed right, Florida strain look malnourished. Uh-oh. That's a pretty fish though. I'm upset at myself that I gave you too long. Ah, you're fine. Need some help? Oh yeah. Nice, I was getting frustrated. Three decent ones though. Now. Uh huh. I'm chilling now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go. Let's go. He's got me stuck on some grass. Or a tree. It was a tree. We're good. Bring it in. Bring it in. Ah. No. I would not be a good kayak fisherman in that tournament. There we go. All head and no body. Where is the body yaddy 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 yaddy? Thunder Cricket's catching the poop out of him. Hey! Gosh dang. Going on what? Do I want your net? Yeah. Oh, dang it. No, I'm good. <laughs> I have lost a few, but it's okay. They're biting the Vibe Jig now. Sheesh.
Don't even need to give it a pause now. They're just eating it. The bike kind of turned on. I think we're in the we're in the peak feeding time right now. Would you would you look at that? Gosh, gee, jeepers creepers. We're catching them. We're catching them. I want a big one though. I want a big one. Ah, gosh, getting me wet. Oof. Yeah. Cool. Corner of the mouth. Delicious. I'm getting wet, my cameras are getting wet, everything's getting wet. How's this lens doing? Lens doing good. Okay. Almost time for a new trailer on my. I hear you. I hear you, buddy. I say we catch one more each and then head to the second lake. I'm not liking this size. What's your PB again? Uh-oh, four pounder, we can break that. We can break that, I think. We can break that at the golf course, that's for sure. There we go. Not the best hook set. I'm probably gonna lose this fish. Set, there we go. Got a nice hook set back into him as he ran. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, this one looks healthy. Is this one healthy? Ah, I don't know. Mm. Yay, finally a healthy fish. Oh, and he's got he's got those bugs all over him. I'm gonna try to show you guys on the chest mount what bugs I'm talking about. Right there on the bottom of his of his belly. They're like little they're like little flat like fleas. They're fish fleas. Weird. Alright. With that, we're gonna pack up the kayak on the trailer and uh, we'll see you guys at the other twin lake. We have made it to lake number two. This here is East Lake. I'd say it's about twice as big, I think 20 acres is what the website said, and looks about the same in terms of cover. So I know it's deeper for sure. I can just tell by looking at it, it's got deeper water, but it's got the same sandy bottom, same type of shoreline grass. I mean, it's the same property, so it should. And I'm gonna try covering a little bit of water with the, the patroller. I just, I don't, I don't think this is gonna be the deal. The sun's come up a lot more since I was last with you guys. Okay, you know what, as I say that, catch one. <laughs> I bet you I could have caught him on the vibrating jig as well though. Is he bigger? Is he bigger? You know what? Looks a little chunkier and definitely fighting harder. It's fighting harder than the other ones. Bring it in here. Bring it in here. Okay. First one in West Lake. We got him. Beautiful. Yeah, healthier fish. Hopefully that's the sign of things to come. Again, though, I just I have doubts about catching a six to ten pounder up shallow like this. I bet you it's gonna have to be dragging a worm or a jig out deep. And there's more deep stuff to go on out here. It's just without a map, without sonar, it's hard to know within a few minutes that what you're casting at is good location. I don't see any brush piles marked. Or anything like that. I do though see a few trees in the water. Like there's a tree over here. I'm gonna go check out. And we do have some clouds rolling in. Maybe it's some rain. I'm not sure. There's the wind. I'm definitely not against a little bit of clouds.
If we had any more wood on the bank and not grass, I'd be throwing a buzz bait. Because the buzz bait's weedless. But since we're basically just fishing over open water, that's why I'm choosing the patroller. Because when you can, choose a treble hooked lure. You're gonna catch more fish. It's a lot harder for a fish to swipe at this thing and not get hooked by something than to swipe at a buzzbait or a topwater frog. So just rule of thumb, if you can, throw a, throw a treble hook lure. But a lot of the time, you can't. Depending on, you know, bottom composition, grass, weeds, that snot grass. That eliminates, and cover wood, that eliminates a treble hooked bait a lot, but if you can, like I can now, throw it. I kind of imagine these type of lures is like a hot pitched Chewbacca. Big worm. Grande worm. Grande worm on a stick. Hmm. And getting live scope is going to really, or getting it on here. It's going to really increase my kayak game. Oh my gosh! Biggin, biggin. Grande, grande. I guess I didn't need live scope. <laughs> hey! Gosh! Holy cow. Yeah, maybe. Oh, gosh, chill. Chill, 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 chill. Nope. Hey! Let's go, baby! That's what I'm talking about. Big worm, roof of the mouth, on a stick. So just like I had thought, the timber in this pond right now, with the time of the year being post-spawn, oops, All right, we got a 4.45. Hey, hey! That right there is what I'm talking about. Beautiful. That would have been a PB for you. <laughs> J-Mart's PB is 4.1, but I think he'll break that. Dude, just focus your craws and worms. See that stick there? They're on timber. I thought they would be. Especially deeper timber. Alrighty. Selfie taken. Big fish caught. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Ninos y niñas. Folks of the world. Boys and girls of the world unite. I like that. That's what I'm talking about. Free ice cream. Oh gosh, that's not what you want. Uh oh, is it raining? A little bit. Shoot! I don't have a rain jacket. We got a little bit of rain rolling in, folks. As long as it's just a little sprinkle, I'm fine. Although I guess I don't really have a choice. Even if it starts pouring rain, I'm, I've got to be fine. Didn't bring a rain jacket. Gotta make sure my camera is okay. Get a little wetness. Okay. Oh crap. I got a fish, don't I? Yes, I do. I do. I've got a fish right now, I think. No? What do I got? What the heck is this? I got stuck on the kayak. What is that? Bro, what the heck? I think I got stuck on the kayak. What am I stuck on? The rudder? I'm so confused. 
I am so confused. Oh, I sucked in the I sucked in my 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 line on my propeller. That's what I did. Yeah, that's what I did. Not what you want right there. Not what you want. Aha. There we go. Nice and easy. Just lift the prop up. I may have to retie though. I gotta check out my line. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna have to retie. Let me just cut off now. Well, that's what happens. Okay. All right, retied our Texas rig. Sorry for a cut there. Just didn't think anybody wanted to watch that. So, got ourselves retied. We had to lose like a solid 20 plus feet of line because it got all tore up in the prop. I was pulling at my line. I was like, why is it stuck directly under the boat? Because I, in my mind, I'd never think about a, <laughs> a propeller at a kayak. I just haven't had one in a long time, so. That's why I didn't think about that. God. What the heck kind of cast was that? Nose. Boogies in there. There's also not as much grass on this pond. Or this lake. I keep saying pond. I've been pond fishing a lot. Y'all have seen that on the channel. There's not as much grass off the bank. Which is interesting. Maybe if I can find a steep drop-off area, throw a jig. Might be a jig pond. Well, it might, be a, it might be a crankbait pond. I don't know. I really wish I had live scope on here. On a pond like this, if there's a depth of 16 to 20, I can throw a, you know, 6XD out here and catch some fish that probably ain't never seen a 6XD. Ooh. Is that rocks or sticks? Is it is it is it is it deep here? No. Those are rocks. <laughs> Got a bunch of boulders right here, eh? Boulders or sticks or something. I don't know what this is. I need a new trailer bad. This is a situation here that I'm noticing as I look around how shallow it is up here and it's got these weird like globby snot grass knobs. So it's just not worth my time to be fishing the bank. The fish are not up there right now. If they were, I'd see beds, I'd see white spots from previous beds, but it's, it's post-spawn summer. These fish are not on the bank, especially this time of the day. Unless the bank's got something for them to hide under, which that shoreline grass is just way too shallow. So they're not gonna be there. Matter of fact, throwing the top water is probably not the smartest choice. Well, I still like it over sticks. Oh gosh. Shallow cover like that, but besides that, not really a fan. Take this off here. Replace it with the vibrating jig. And I'll get a new trailer here in a second. It's, uh, it's worm time. Big worm. Big worm for a big boy. That's me. I'm a big boy. Like 
this side doesn't sit right. This side does. I think I'm gonna lock the big worm in my hand for a lot of the rest of the day, just because I want to catch a big one. Jmart's definitely got way more wood on his side than I do on mine, so I hope he's taking advantage of it. If not, you know that I'll be there. Kind of blind casting. I hate that feeling. Having live scope has spoiled me because I don't have to blind cast anymore. I can see what's down there. If see if it's worth a cast. Oh, 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 oh. Felt kind of felt kind of interesting. Oh yeah, that's definitely a fish bite me down there. Just picked it up and he was there again. Come on, old big. Where you at, big mama? This fence line up here is looking real juicy. I like it. 
I love it. I want some more of it. I want one twice the size of the last one. I want a nine pounder. Man, we are drifting slow. Oh crap. Okay, we're good. I had a bluegill hit my line. That's funny. Oh, it's shallow up there on the fence line. Man. Well, I kind of feel lost then. <laughs> Don't know how fast this drops off here, but I mean, it's too shallow on the bank. Feel like I should be throwing a vibrating jig. I don't know. I just don't know what to do. I like the big worm because it gets a big bite. A bigger worm, I get the bigger bite. I'll stay with a big worm till I decide otherwise. As always, if y'all are staying this far, I've got a little challenge for you. Comment below your favorite pizza topping or a combination of pizza toppings. Are you just a straight pepperoni guy or do you like pepperoni, olives, sardines, and, and pineapple? Comment below. That's your challenge if you've made it this far into the video. So I know the real fans are here. I'm a, I'm a pepperoni and pineapple guy. Not too much pineapple though. Just a, just a few little small pieces of pineapple. 
I like my pizza to have a little bit of sweet. I also, also comment below if you guys put honey on your pizza. I use Mike's Hot Honey. That stuff is delicious. And uh, yeah, comment below. Starting to get hot too. It is that time of the year, folks, where it gets hot and I gotta start putting on my my buff and my sun hoodie. AFCO Freshwater makes the best stuff in the game. Y'all wanna check out AFCO. You can use code TRF2022 to save yourself 15% on your order. 15%! It's a good discount right there. On the best fishing clothes in the game. Who just texted me? Who just texted me? Lose. Got a photo shoot coming up tomorrow, so I was giving them the details. All the details. Uh-oh. There we go. Got to remember I have pedals now, so I can't pedal and reel my line under the boat at the same time. Because that will end badly for everybody involved. Haven't worn a buff and a hoodie in a while. I don't like it. I liked pre-spawn in winter because I could I could wear some cold gear, not worry about the sun. That was nice. Okay, you know what? It's about time that we get a new trailer. I'm going on that vibrant jig. Strike King Menace. I like the Menace for the post spawn, unless they are Chad spawning, and then I'll throw the, the Rage Craw usually. And I've got a new video coming out in the next few weeks about jig trailers. Because it's been three years since I last made a jig trailer video. Thought it was time for a refresh. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. It looks shallow up in this corner, so I'm not quite sure how I feel about this. Oh yeah, it's shallow. Yuck. Way too shallow. Shallow and snot grassy.
geese. Straight up honkers right there. Ah, too much junk in this side of the pond, man. It's like every cast I'm coming up with this slime. I'm on Nickelodeon over here. It's not what I want. Got to get myself into some deeper water, I think. Oh, looks like my buddy Jonathan has one. Either that. Oh, yeah, he's got one. Nice. Good, I'm glad. He's got the fishing bug hard, so I like to see him catch fish. Really wish I had a depth finder. So I knew where to go, where the deepest water was with trees in it. Because the bank line is not it right now. This is the time of the year that in the morning, early morning, fish might be up in that slime, but as soon as the day gets going, you gotta head offshore. And you'll start seeing that in my lake videos too. I'll go up shallow for an hour in the morning, and then from then on I will be graphing, finding brush piles, fishing marinas, not being on the bank. Which is kind of sad. Post spawn can be tough though. So I'm just glad we're catching some fish. Pants got muddy. Huh? He yelled something at me. I didn't hear him. Looks like he's got something in his kayak, like a snake. Or a bug. What was it? What was that? Big old spider. Oh, he had a spider. He had a spider in his kayak. I would react the same way. I'm not a fan of big old spiders. I'm a fan of itsy bitsy spiders. Going up the water spout. Shallow over here too. Seems to be shallow everywhere. There's one on the big worm. Not a big one, but one on the worm off the line, off the grass line. So that's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm just gonna have to focus on the big worm on the edge of the grass. Because that right there is good, clean grass. That's what you want. You don't want this snot stuff that I was up around.
big worms can catch big ones, but they can also catch regular ones. Seems like a two pounder or a one pounder has no problem getting a 10 or 12 inch worm in his mouth. Which shows me that they mostly, if at least the small ones are going for the head. Big ones I've seen suck the tail and suck the whole thing in. But the little ones I think go for the head, which is why you can hook them because the hook's in the head. Oh, mm. felt good. Was not though, I don't think. No. Oh. If you haven't noticed, I say ope a lot. It's a Minnesota thing. It's like I got Minnesota in my blood. I put on 20 pound, 20 pound line. This is CR uh, basics on here. Cause I thought that I was gonna be flipping this, this worm around a lot more trees than I am. I'm just kind of open, open water casting. And even the tree that I caught the, the little one on was not uh, that thick of a tree. There's one, a nice one. Not a bad fish, but not as big as the first one for sure. Okay, I figured them out. They're on the edge. I just gotta find good areas like I found right here. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Gosh, you're strong. And I think he threw the worm, maybe? Maybe time for a new worm? Chill, buddy. Aha, ouch, ouch. Beautiful. Two and a half yonder. Ah! Mm, that's how you like to see them, right there. D, delicious. I think doing this enough, whether it's around grass, or whether it's around grass or sticks, I think we'll eventually hook into a magnum. Just got a feeling. Stay tuned to find out. On Disney Channel. I think it's right here. Yep. Pack of worms under my seat. It's almost time to have my sandwich. I'm hungry. I'm also pumped for some Aggie football this fall. I don't think we're gonna win the Natty this year. I think we'll go nine and three or eight and four again, but the year after, once we have a system quarterback who's been there for two to three years, I'm telling ya, Texas A&M, 2023 national champions. Well, I guess it would be 2024 since the Natty is played in January. All right, made a cast back out there again. I don't like setting the hook on a big worm with sitting down, but it's worked. I could just see myself losing one especially a big one. Oop, there's one. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Could've sworn I had one. That's why I was standing up for a better hook set. Definitely had a bite. Got him. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Chill. 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 Bring it in here. Bring it in. Yes, sir. Oh, ow, no. Oof. There we go. That's a chunky one, finally. Got a chunky one that I'm pretty sure is a female because we got a bloody tail right here. Beautiful fish right there. Nice bloody tail. See you, girl. Go keep on getting bigger for me. Yeah, we figured them out. They on that grass line. And a grass line right down here. Oops, that's not good. I'm gonna break a rod doing that, aren't I? 
The key to the big worm is really just fishing it slow. Just lift it up, let it fall. Not really doing a whole lot to it. I mean, it's about the most do nothing soft plastic out there. Oh, never mind. Hey, they're offshore. What? They're off the bank. Okay. There's like a grass edge way out here, if you're not catching any. Gosh, I keep catching my flip-flops on the ground. Oh, what are my shoes doing on? That's, that's what feels weird. Got shoes on. I'm taking my shoes off. I'm not feeling on that terrain. That's why I ain't caught no 10 pounder yet. My shoes are on. Cast of that stick right there. He caught the stick. What do you know? You got a giant. Or I caught a bass that wrapped around the It's possible. Beautiful property out here. If y'all haven't checked out private water fishing, you need to because the access that they can get you to fish really cool places is, is awesome. Texas really is the best state in the Union to catch bass. I know Florida's got a ton of water too, and they've got peacocks and everything, but in terms of like catching good quality fish and having really cool landscapes that are like different, like Texas has West Texas, they got North Texas, we got South Texas that are all different like biomes. You're not going to get that in Florida. Florida looks the same throughout the entire, you know, geographic area. It's all just flat residential ponds and canals. <laughs> Texas, we got big trees. We got flat rock. We got everything. And I seem to have come to the end of my school of fish here. But no fear, I'll just keep doing the same thing. I'm also gonna work down this bank because I'm pretty sure I've kind of drifted this way. Oh, 
hope my hope my feet look good. They're on camera a lot today. Stretch my back. I think so. The bank's got that weird slime, like slime balls. What the heck, who's calling me? Huntsville. Hi, this is Mark with an important message about your automobile service contract. Oh really? Come on, you fish. Come on now. I need water. I don't drink enough when I'm in the kayak. Well, I seem to have scared all these away. Yeah. I know I didn't catch them all. Why are you throwing a white jig? Get you a worm, boy. Go pop, go papa style. Just drag a worm. I only have regular size Is that what you're using? No, I can get you a worm. You yeah, I'll bring you a big worm. I'll bring you a big daddy. Last cast here and we'll give Jonathan some worms. Trying to do business while fishing is hard. Let's focus on two and that's obviously that works best for me. Planning the photo shoot tomorrow. Video shoot? Photo shoot? I don't know. Photo and video? He's coming to me!
Ugh. Just grab the bag, Tyler. Wee! <laughs> you get spider that jumped off? Of How big was the spider? Humongous. Oh, was it really? Oh, we like hairy spiders. You just drag in this mug? Just drag it. Right. Not not wacky rig. Yeah. And it doesn't seem like the pond's that deep. Do what? Ope, oh, ope. Oh. There's one. Aha, little guy. <laughs> I don't think it's that deep out here. So really anywhere you cast is fine. See that? You give your fish, you give it, you give your friend some worms, and you're rewarded with a fish. Can't guarantee it always to work, but also this is an ice cream bass. If y'all didn't know, right here, single scoop. We need a double scoop. I don't like single scoop ice cream bass, but I do like bass. I like catching them. That's for sure. You'll see me, you're seeing me pulling out line a lot. That's because 20 pound line has a tendency to jump off the reel a little bit easier. And if you don't reel it on there super tight, it'll just cause more backlashes or more loose line as you cast. So since big worm is meant to be fished slow and I got some loose line, I might as well just kind of pull it out. Let that worm sit there. Little bit of wind. Man, I wish I wish I knew how deep it was out there. Cause I'd throw a crankbait or a swim like a, like a line through swim bait or something. That could definitely work if I had live scope on the kayak. Which I will soon. All of my problems will be over. Not biting the worm here very well anymore. I'm gonna move elsewhere. Uh-oh, spider. You bring it up on a text rig? Well, I got really excited when you caught that four and a half pound. I know. 30 seconds in. Well, that was the, that was the deepest piece of wood I've seen yet. Okay. So. Does not surprise me. Do you have some pink dye on those uh, claws? Oh uh, yeah, not a bad idea. I don't see it hurting.
Come on, fish. Come eat Papa's worm. Big fish, big fish. Grande pescado. Grande pescados aquí. There's a little creek channel running in here with a point. I'm gonna get on up there. I feel like that's a high percentage place for a big one to sit. Yeah, it's way too shallow up there. It's making a cast out here. Get a backlash during the cast and then it comes out. See, I reeled in loose line, can't do that. This pond definitely has less fish. It's a lake. God, lake! It's a lake! It's not a pond. It's hard for me to call anything a lake that's not like a big lake with a boat ramp and stuff. And docks. That's a lake. I have trouble calling this a lake mentally. But it is. It's not a pond. Like I would, I would shy away from lakes this big for my hundred pond series. Oh, that's a fish. Yes, there we go. Got him. All right, I'm getting the hook set of sitting down. I'm not great at it, but I'm learning. I'm learning. I knew there'd be one sitting on this break. Hey, chill, chill, chill. Yes, sir. Look at that. Beautiful. Ooh, he got it down deep in there, though. I've probably got to use the old braid, not the braid trick, the uh, turnaround. Uh, it looks like it's not that deep. Yeah, I need to get my pliers. There we go. Beautiful. Saved that fish's life. I guess I, I endangered his life first, but then I saved him. So, am I the savior? I don't know. I'll let you decide. One fish there, maybe there's mucho mas. There's 10 pounders in here. I just bet you they're, they're on a brush pile, somewhere in the middle. I don't know where the brush pile is, but I'd find it with live scope. Heck, even side scan. I find it with. Get my 
wife and I are having steaks tonight. Oh, if we don't have steaks, we'll go to Cheesecake Factory probably. I'm kind of feeling Cheesecake Factory, honestly. But we bought steaks, so I don't want the steaks to go bad. And I make a pretty mean steak, if I don't say so myself. To me, steak is, is, yeah, the cut of meat's important, so getting a good cut of meat. I get filet and young. It's a good cut of meat. And then it's all about seasoning and marinade. I know that that might get some hate from some steak lovers, that, oh, it's just the meat. You don't even need sauce. No, you do. If you marinate it right, you cook it right, and it's seasoned right, it's, it's delicious. It's got juice to it. It's got seasoning to it. That's what I like about steak. I don't need no rare steak with just salt. Now, just stop being so like American. I want a little bit of French steak. A delicious, juicy, seasoned steak. And those same folks that give me trash for that would also have a cow if they found out that I cook it on a Traeger. They call it Traeger the Easy Bake Oven or the Kitty Bake Oven, whatever it is. And I mean, I'm going to admit, it is. It's pretty dang easy, and I love it. it. Makes my job as a cook easier. And this seat kind of hurts my back. I may have to do a little bit of rigging to this seat here. Or just grab the bona fide seat and see if it fits. There's one. Yes, sir. Just, just straight reeled up. I mean, it couldn't have been more than two feet below the surface when that guy ate. There we go. Beautiful. Didn't even need a hook set. All I needed was a fish to re to swim backwards, and I pull backwards on my end. Love it. Hopefully one of y'all is keeping track on how many fish I've caught, because I don't know. Wasn't coming off. See ya, buddy. Take you a while to heal from that scar, I assume. Ooh, and I need to make my worm smaller. This is fun. Hope y'all are enjoying this. I love kayak uncut videos. I love uncut videos in general because it allows me just to go fishing. It allows you just to watch fishing and it's less editing. It's not necessarily less time consuming editing because I still have to watch the whole thing to make sure I don't make any, you know, mistakes or off color jokes or anything, but, or pick my nose. But uh, I definitely like uncuts. They're a lot more fun. For me to edit I get to watch back the whole day and you know see mistakes that I made gee group of fish right there man group of fish and I'm taking advantage of them and they're all little dinks they are not grandes they are not grande bass ah man this five odd hook is getting them good man gosh see ya Absolutely smoking them, dude. June bug worm. Gotta love a June bug. My mama, my mama said June bug worm is the the best color worm. Benjamin Franklin didn't invent electricity. Benjamin Franklin is the devil. Anybody know what movie I'm quoting? I've quoted it several times in this video. Why do you got so many teeth but no toothbrush? I've been liking this pedal so far today. 
I'm kind of learning the subconscious ways of how to move my feet and this hand over here with any kind of breeze to keep myself pointed straight at my lure. Way better at it than I was when I started this morning, that's for sure. Need to make a deeper cast, it's too, uh, too shallow here. Oh yeah, now that I look at it, I'm really shallow. Let's get a little deeper. We're gonna see a lot of big worm fishing on my channel, I think. In the next few months. Especially before I head up north for the summer. Not gonna see much big worm once I get to the north, but see a lot in Texas. Big worm, deep crankbait. I'm gonna head out to Lake Fork a few times before I head north for the summer. Catch me a few on a 6xd at lake fork that's what i like my favorite ways to catch fish one of, one of them is deep crankbait it's just fun you're just cranking fast and they nail it Getting hot. Getting hot out here. Getting hot and I need some water. I'd love to do more fishing live streams. I'm gonna try to do more this summer. Especially if I'm fishing on like a Saturday or a Friday night. A live stream can be really fun. Let me know if y'all would enjoy some live summertime Minnesota bass fishing. Because I would sure enjoy that. Oh, running at me so fast. That right there is why you need to learn how to reel fast, boys and girls, because I wouldn't have caught that fish if I hadn't have reeled extra, extra fast to keep up with how quickly he came to me. Especially when they're like six pounds. They can come at you so fast. Y'all have no idea. Like, I think most people think bass are like a slow fish. And like, they're not going to be able to catch your your crankbait that you're reeling extra fast, trust me, a bass can catch whatever the heck it wants. I've seen them at the Bass Pro Shops tank, you drop the bait fish in, it's boom! They eat that thing. So trust me, bass can uh, catch up to your crankbait. Do they always want to? Not always. Sometimes you gotta give them the old razzle dazzle, the old slow roll. But I've been happy so far with my sitting down hook sets today. Not gonna lie. I've been pleased. I got a dragonfly trying to mate with my rod. Ch 
just slow drag. That's what the post spawn is all about in the summer, really, like down in south in Texas, just the slow drag. If you're struggling to catch fish, find some deep water, ideally with some rock or wood around, and just slow drag. And you see how slow I'm working it. It's real slow. And don't you worry, I'll go prove everything that I'm saying right now on public bodies of water when I get back with my boat. Don't you worry. Just because I'm on a private lake today doesn't mean I don't know what I'm talking about. I think I've proven it. I think I've more than proven that what I'm saying works. Oh, uh-oh. There we go. Gosh, what a jump. What a stinking jump, man. Another one, my gosh. This dude is a jumper. About three jumps. Sorry, my elbow is blocking that one. You are a strong fish. You're gonna get me wet, aren't you? Aren't you gonna get me wet? Come on, come on. These fish in here are definitely stronger than their counterparts on the other pond. Come on. Gosh. Chill. Chill. Don't get me wet. Don't get me wet. Ah! Had to grab him backwards. Like old papa. Beautiful. That right there is what I'm talking about. Ooh, this guy's got like sores on him. Yuck. Oh, and he's bleeding. Dang it. Well, if he's got sores, he's probably going to die anyways. But I'll still save his life. Just because I'm a nice guy. Nice guy alert. See ya. Ooh, I've got a treble hook in my shirt. There we go. Yeah, these fish are sitting off this brake line, and I bet you the 10 pounder in here is sitting on the steepest brake line that there is. So I've got to find where that is. On the steepest cover, deepest water. Every now and then I get a little dirty, but skip a dip it didn't do. Like I said, this worm here is the Rage Tail Magnum Cutter. It's a really good worm, in my opinion, at kind of being a little bit finessey, like only has a tiny little tail, but yet it's not just a total finesse worm. So it's not, it's not a, it's not an old monster, zoom old monster worm. It's not an anaconda. Striking's also got one of those, a big, big flappy tail worm. But it's a good mixture between the two. You can throw this cutter worm on a Texas rig, on a shaky head, and you'll see me catch a few bigs on it, I think, here in the next few weeks. On them brush piles. I'm calling it now. Catch me old big. Catch me old eight pounder. I don't know if I can catch me old 10 pounder. 10 pounders are kind of reserved for the the winter, but eight pounders are a summer fish. I can catch me an eight. There he is. You bigger. Ah, another nice one. They're actually a little bit shallower than I thought they were. At least the last two have been, gee, jumpers. They are extremely jumpers. Wow. My gosh. Chill. Chill. Got him. Thank you. Oh my gosh. And they're all, they're all eating it so far deep down their mouths, man. I hate that. 
I hate gut hooking a bunch of fish. I'm not even giving them that much time to eat it. They're just eating it fast. See you, buddy. Well, we figured them out, boys. We gosh darn figured them out. Turn around somehow. <laughs> this is definitely the uncut that I've caught the most fish. I mean, I've I've had uncuts before where I only catch like three or four in an hour of fishing. Caught a lot more today's episode. It's also going to be a longer episode. Like, if you made it this far, man, you guys rock. You're, you're giving me a job. You're making my living happen by staying this long. I appreciate you. Again, the longer y'all stay on the channel, the more it does, the better it does in the algorithm. But of course, it's, it's, a, it's a dichotomy here because I want y'all to stay on my channel as long as you possibly can. But then again, I want you to learn what I'm teaching you and then go on the water and do it yourself. I don't want you to sit in your basement and just watch my videos all day. So I want you to watch all of them in your free time, but go, go apply what I'm teaching you guys. That's, that's my main goal. I gotta make a living, but I also don't want you guys to become addicted to your phones and technology, which maybe we all already are, and there's no going back, I don't know. Try reeling the worm this time. I'm loving this mock smash. It's a good combo. I like the handle on it. I had the mock smash spinning reel last year, I think. I had to buy it because I was low on spinning reels for my New York trip. Because I knew I'd need like five or six spinning combos. And I went and bought this one at Academy. It's dope. It's dope spinning reel. I paid for it. How about that? I am sponsored by Luz, but I actually paid for that one last year. But then I sold it to Alton Jones Jr. for what I paid for it. So I guess I ended up not paying for it. It just was a wash. There's a stick out there in the middle I've been eyeing for like half an hour now. And I think I'll catch a big one on it. Not gonna guarantee anything, but it's just what I think. I'm fishing too fast now. Slow down, Tyler. Put your rod down and get a water. Stretch my legs. Huh? Oh no! Jmart lost his tail. How tragic.
Ooh, excuse me. Liquid makes me burp. I think I, I must swallow air when I drink. Because I'm a burper after I drink practically anything. All right, let's get a full cast over to that stick. Right there, not the best cast I've made, but kept me far away. There's one on the tree. Hey, hey, let's go, baby. Yes, sir. Another nice one. Another nice one on a big, deep tree. What do you know? What do you know? You know that that works. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all what works, so do it. If it's the summertime, post spawn, fish big trees. Yes. Chill, chill. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That one would go four pounds right there on the big worm. Beautiful. I told you guys my first cast wasn't good enough. Second cast was. Yes. I love it. I love it a lot. How can you not love it? That's my question. How, what is there to not love about that? Nothing. Everything's to love about that. Re-rig my worm. I'm gonna make another flip at this log, even though I'm like at it right now. I wonder if these fish are not grouped up. Big individual trees. It's uh, it's so simple. So simple, it's crazy. I, I I guarantee you, there's more trees like this as well that I can't see. Just one fish on that. Cool. I'm getting hot, it's dead calm. This is gonna be my last cast right here. Good, got all my loose line out. Last cast for kayak uncut. Let's catch this one to finish it out. If you've made it all the way here, you are a super fan. And I'm a super fan of you. So thank you. Thank you for being who you are. Y'all can go ahead and share this video with one of your friends. Tell them to put it on play as they do the dishes or fold laundry. Hmm. And I'm getting tired. Getting tired. There's a cool dock though, to launch the kayak on this side. All right, there she blows, boys and girls. We'll see you guys back on dry land. Well, that's gonna be it for the video, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed another episode of Uncut. I loved getting back in the kayak and just enjoying some awesome fish catching action. That was the most fish I've ever caught by far. I think in any video, much less an uncut video. And so if you wanna see a previous uncut on the bass boat and a previous uncut one, like I mentioned in the video, uh, I'll leave both the kayak and the bass boat one linked in the video description. If you wanna check out Twin Lakes here in Ben Wheeler, Texas, or any of the private water fishing uh, locations, I will leave that linked in the video description below for y'all to sign up. Like I said, it's an awesome place to come fish. And if you have some money saved up and wanna go catch some fish with it, this is the place to do it. There's a hundred and something lakes, I believe, that you can fish as a PWF member. And so I'm proud to be a member and you guys can join in that link below. We're gonna hit the road, grab some lunch, and we'll see you guys next time right here on TRF.